Hi everyone, I'm a Huawei engineer. Today I will introduce Huawei's Enterprise Network Chassis Shaped Switch 9700. S9700 switches are used on campus networks and in data centers. First, let's learn how S9700 switches are used on campus networks. This figure shows a typical campus network. S9700 switches are deployed at the core layer. S7700 and S3 series box switches are deployed at the aggregation layer and the access layer. S9700 switches are equipped with powerful functions. S9700 switches combined with SPUs are used to build secure campus networks. S9700 switches with 10GE high-density line cards can build a 10GE campus network. S9700 switches are core devices for 10GE campus cloud networks. Now let's learn the applications of S9700 switches on data centers. On a data center network, S9700 is deployed at the aggregation and core layer. S7700 and S series box switches are deployed at the access layer. S9700 switches provide a high density of high performance 10GE interface boards. 10GE servers and virtual machines can be connected to the network through these interfaces. S9700 switches have BC series board borders with large caches and SPUs that support load balancing. These features allow S9700 switches to process traffic bursts easily. S9700 components. Next, let's come to learn about the components of S9700. Huawei S9700 series have three models, S9703, S9706, and S9712. At the front of the switch, there is the power supply module, the board slot, cable divider, ESD jack, and the rack mounting ear. On the left side, there is the air intaker, vent, and removable handle. From the rear view, we can see the fan frame, air filter, dual OT ground points, ESD jack, and removable handle. S9703 is 4U high and has three LPU slots, two MPU slots, and a switching capacity of 1440 Mpps. It supports a maximum of 144 GE ports and 120 10 GE ports. S9706 is 10U high and has 6 LPU slots, 2 MPU slots and a switching capacity of 2880 Mpps. It supports a maximum of 288 GE ports and 240 10 GE ports. S19712 is 15U high and has 12 LPU slots, 2 MPU slots and a switching capacity of 2880 Mpps. It supports a maximum of 576 GE ports and 480 10GE ports. S9700 series switches use dual OT terminals for ground cables. The ground point is at the bottom left on the back of the cabinet. Rack mounting ears are used to install the chassis in a cabinet. You can use the installation template to determine the position for installing rack mounting ears. 3. S9703 and S9706, S9712 use the same kinds of LPU, power supply module, and fan frame. S9706 and S9712 use the same kinds of MPU, monitoring board, removable handles, and cable dividers. S9703 has its own MPU and no monitoring board. S9703, S9706, and S9712 have model-specific racket mounting ears and air filters. All three models use interchangeable components and a modular design to minimize spare parts costs. The modular design allows for device scalability without new custom investment. Switch structure. The S9706 and S9712 use the same system structure. The system is divided into three planes, data plane, control plane, and management plane. The SRU is the core unit for each of these planes. An SRU consists of a CPU, CBUS, RSW, and a switching fabric unit. The data plane is physically divided into several star HIG planes and is used exclusively for transmitting service data. An LPU sends a packet to the switching fabric unit of the SRU. And the switching fabric unit 
sends packets to the destination LPU. The control plane is used exclusively for transmitting service protocol data, such as routing protocol data. The control plane has its own dedicated channels for data transmissions. The LPU sends a control request through LSW to the CPU or the SRU. The SRU CPU processes the requests and returns a control command through LSW to the CPU of the LPU. The management plane is used exclusively for managing devices. The management plane uses the combust line. CMU sends switch status information to the CPU or the SRU through the combust line. The SRU CPU processes the information and uses the combust line to send a control command to the CMU. This figure shows the hardware structure of S9703. S9703 uses an MCU as the main control board. The MCU has no switching fabric unit and it integrates the CMU functions. S9703 differs from S9706 and S9712. On S9703, LPUs forward packets to each other and the MCU monitors the device running status. Monitoring board. The centralized monitoring board is an indispensable switch component that works in one-to-one -one backup mode. This board monitors and manages power supply modules and fan modules in real time. If a switch does not have the centralized monitoring board, fan modules and power supply modules, it cannot register nor can they communicate with the MPU. System power consumption displays as only 400W. New boards cannot be powered on. Fan information cannot be displayed and the fans rotate at full speed because the automatic speed adjustment function is not available. Boards S9700 supports S-series, E-series, F-series and B-series boards. LPUs have three types of MAC specifications, A, C and D. Class A supports a maximum of 32K MAC entries. Class C supports a maximum of 128K MAC entries entries, and Class D supports a maximum of 512k MAC entries. Each interface supports a rate of 10 GE. Each LPU supports a maximum of 48 FE or GE interfaces and a maximum of 40 10 GE interfaces. The space-saving LPU design is compact and uses the three-layer cabling approach. Interface numbering starts at zero. The direction arrow points indicates whether an interface is up or lower. Slot bandwidth. This figure shows the bandwidth for S9706 slots. Slot 5 provides 300 GB per second. The other slots provide 320 GB per second. This figure shows the bandwidth for S9712 slots. Slot 9 provides 140 GB per second. The other slot provides 160 GB per second. SPU board. Enterprises, network, and data center require high security and application acceleration. SPUs are designed to meet these needs. SPU boards provide a range of functions, including firewall, NAT, NetStream, IPsec, load balancing, and AC function. A firewall implements access control based on a control policy or group of control policies. It controls and monitors untrusted network access to a trusted network. Physical firewalls prevent a fire from spreading from one part of, of a building to another. A network firewall prevents threats on the internet from reaching mainframes and key resources such as data on an internal network. The firewall filters transmissions before allowing them access to the protected area. The firewall can also serve as a control gateway that limits the access to the internet. For example, it allows specific internal users to access the internet. Network addresses translation, also called address agent, translates private network addresses into public network addresses. NAT enables hosts on a private network to access the public network. NetStream is a series of unidirectional data packets that travel through network devices and have certain common attributes. Generally, 
A net stream flow is identified by the source IP addresses, destination IP addresses, source port number, destination port number, protocol type, service type, and inbound or outbound interface. NetStream provides enterprise users with higher bandwidth and predictable quality of service to help refine network accounting and management pr procedures. IP security is an internet security protocol that offers high-quality, encryption-based security for IP packets. Data communications between two parties are encrypted and the data source is authenticated at the IP layer. This protects data confidentiality and integrity and defends against replay attacks. IPsec protects data transmissions from the danger of information leakage. Load balancing is a cost-effective, efficient, and transparent method to improve the processing capabilities of the network devices and servers. Load balancing is classified as server load balancing, link load balancing, or firewall load balancing. Server load balancing distributes user requests to access devices or network resources among multiple servers. The load on individual server is lightened and this helps make server operations more reliable. When users on an enterprise network or a campus network access an external network, egress link road balancing selects an available link to forward user traffic. This link must be responsive and provide sufficient bandwidth. This improves network availability. Firewall load balancing distributes network traffic among multiple firewalls to relieve the load of a single firewall and improve overall network processing capability. Power supply module. S9700 supports a 2200 watt DC power supply and a 2200 watt AC power supply. Both DC and AC power supply modules support EMC filtering and have powerful self-protection functions. S7700 has an active and a standby power supply modules. S9700 power supply modules work in M plus N backup mode. They are not area-based like S7700 modules. In area-based backup mode, the power supply module in a slot can be either active or standby. In M plus N backup mode, all power supply modules load balance traffic and support hot swapping. Their functions are not determined by slot function location. The value range for M and N is as follows. For S9303, the value range is N is no less than 0, M is no less than N, and M is no more than 1. For S9306, the value range is N is no less than 0, M is no less than N, and M is no more than 2. For S9312, the value range is N is no less than 0, M is no less than N, and M is no more than 3. You can run the display power or the display power system command to check the power status. S9700 uses fan modules that are hot swappable. The number of fans varies depending on the switch model. Fans store air into devices for heat dissipation. S9700 uses an area-based fan design with a backup feature and an intelligent fan speed adjustment mechanism. Each fan is responsible for heat dissip dissipation within a certain area. The switch monitors the temperature of key components throughout the system and adjusts the fan speed based on the device temperature. This helps to ensure stable operation of both fans and devices. The fan modules make the system more reliable and the speed adjustment mechanism reduces power consumption and noise. The air intake vent is on the left side of the switch and the air exhaust vent is at the rear. The left side of the of switch should never face the air exhaust vent of another switch. Cables should not be deployed on the left or at the rear of a switch to avoid the possibility of blocking a vent. If you want to learn more information about the S9700, please visit our website at enterprise.huawei.com. Thank you for watching.